G'day legends, Mick Duck here. Thanks for joining me today on another adventure. Today we are exploring in the Kosciuszko National Park. Uh, we're gonna be exploring the Jagungal Wilderness area. So let's get into it. So the walk's about 45 kilometres, it's a three day, two night overall. Um, today we're about 14 k's, so yeah, it's a bit of a journey, but it should be a bit of fun. So day three apparently is when there's all the amazing views, so make sure you stick around to the end because it's going to be pretty spectacular. Just have a look how beautiful this place is, it's so amazing, let me give you a quick look. So we're about 5k in, we've just stopped for some lunch, um, had a great little break and now we're going to continue on um, down towards the hut for the night. So we arrived at Dershko's hut and as soon as we basically arrived we decided to set up our tent and it absolutely started to pour with rain so I was a bit of a mission to get it going so I didn't really get any kind of filming but I got a little bit um, at the end that I'll kind of show you now after the tent was set up and the sun actually decided to come back out. Good morning, day two. Here we are just at Dershko's hut still. Um, today we're just going on a short walk up to O'Keefe's hut and that's only about seven and a half K. So I've had a pretty lazy morning, just kind of drying everything out after the rain last night. And um, we're all kind of packed up and ready to go. Might have another little look in Dershko's hut now that everyone else has left. There is a little drop toilet here at Dershko's, just up the hill from the hut. Thank you. 
So because of all of the cloud over Mount Chagungal, we're just going to probably skip that today. Um, we don't think we're going to have any views. Um, the cloud's coming in and out, but uh, we just don't think it's worth it right now. So the walk so far this morning has been quite enjoyable. Um, we've come around the Mount Jungle here, and then we've also had two river crossings, including across the Tumut River. Um, just a beautiful walk today. come across this little building here just off the track we just had a look at the map and this is apparently a rain gauge so yeah pretty interesting I'll give you a quick look We've got some different terrain now, we're kind of in and amongst the trees, it's quite beautiful. Here we're just kind of following the trail up the hill here. There's definitely views like this that make this whole walk worth it, it's just spectacular. We've had a pretty chilled day, not too much walking. We decided not to go up Mount Jagungu just because of the um, clouds coming in and out. And so we've arrived here at a key hut. We've set up our tent. We're just kind of chilling out for the afternoon. What I might do is actually just take you inside now and have a little look around. The fire's cranking because it's pretty cold here at the moment. And um, yeah, let's just have a little look. How cool are all these old newspapers? Some of them are dating back to 1930s, uh, some 50s and some 70s, and it's really interesting to kind of just have a little look around and read, read the different articles. They're all preserved behind perspex. Well, good morning, day three. Super windy here, just trying to tuck in out of the wind here, but um, so you're still there, okay, so about to head out back out to the car via the Round Mountain Trail. Um, hopefully, it's not too windy, too rainy, but there's a bit of blue sky around. I'll show you a bit of a look around now. Look at these trees, just really spectacular. Love this valley. 
crossing across Bogon Creek a couple of times, just spectacular. So you're probably wondering, you're seeing a lot of the time where I'm walking with the hiking poles, I'm um, thinking, oh, it's pretty flat where he is, but it's been lots and lots of up and downs on this um, day three of this trail. So the hiking poles are definitely coming handy, especially for the downhills, but also for some of these steep um, inclines, as you can see behind us. The camera never does it justice. How beautiful is this little spot that we stopped, just for a little break. So some of the people that we talked to about this hike said that the third day views were spectacular and they were not joking. Have a look at this. Look how beautiful this is. Absolutely spectacular. So we're descending right down, all the way down to the river. This is the Tumut River just here. So I'm going to cross that and then we'll start our ascent back up. Here we are at Round Mountain Hut. Um, unfortunately, this one burnt down uh, a little while ago, but um, there's still ruins here. It's a lovely spot to camp, though. Plenty of open grass, as it grows the area, so quite a good spot to camp, actually. I'll show you around a little bit. Well, we made it back to the junction, the Round Mountain Trail, and the one we've just come off, which is the, the Farm Ridge Trail. So pretty epic all the way up from the Tumut River. Um, and now we've just got to head back to the car. Well, we've made it almost back to the car now. So um, if you've enjoyed this adventure, please give us a like. Um, subscribe and um, follow for more adventures and until then I'll see you in the next one.